Welcome everybody to another Unity VR tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to make mirrors. We'll learn how to use render textures, we'll learn how to apply those render textures to our materials, and finally we'll learn how to use that material to give the appearance of a mirror to our objects. If you haven't been following this series, no worries. Every part is modular and can be done independently from all the others. Just download the GitHub project provided below, open up the project, and go to the corresponding scene to follow along. If you like a written tutorial, you can also find one in a link below as well. Opening up the project and going to part 13, mirrors, we are going to be greeted with this scene. We have our hats from before in our socket interactor videos, and I also created a little hand mirror for us to do as a bonus project at the end of the video. Uh, besides that, if you look on our XR origin, we also have on the main camera a hat socket. This is just going to allow us to attach hats to our heads, and that's about it. Now let's kick things off and create a mirror. So I'm gonna start off and add a cube and I'm going to name this mirror. Shocker, I know. Let me scroll out so we can see it. There we are. And I'm gonna enter some values really quick and I'll explain them. All right, and so if you look over here, I gave it a position of 0, 1.3, and 1.7, so it's placed a little bit behind the table. I also gave it a rotation of negative 90 degrees, and then a scale of 0 0.01, 1, and 1. So now we have the object in our scene that we are going to make into a little mirror. What we need to do now is somehow apply a material onto this to give it a reflective like property and how we're going to do this is kind of like a magic trick in a way we're going to use a camera and then the camera is going to use a render texture so it will be outputting to that render texture and then that render texture will be applied to a material and then we apply the material to the mirror object all right, and to get this working, I'm going to start off by adding a camera to the scene. And you know, what? I want it to have the same position as the mirror. So I'm just going to add it as a child really quick. I'm going to zero it out. And then I am going to move it out of there. There we go. So it's put it in the right position and then I can see what it sees here. So it looks like I need to rotate it around the Y axis. And let's try, let's see, 180. There we go. And so now we can see it is looking at the hats. It's positioned right in the center of the mirror and that should work for our camera. And you know what, just to be a good Unity developer, I'm going to name this mirror camera. There we go. And next we need to have a target texture. So this camera is gonna be capturing this right here. It's gonna see the hats. It's gonna see the little hand mirror there, but it has nothing to output to. And so this target texture needs a render texture in order to get an output. So we can come in here, go to create and go down to render texture and we can just name this mirror render texture boom all righty and if we go back to the mirror bum, 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 bum. there we are we just drag and drop that there and so now this camera whatever it captures is going to output to this render texture all right and now that we have our render texture in place and our camera is outputting to it we need to have a material to apply the render texture to. So go over here, go to material and name you mirror material or just mirror mat, why not? And we have it selected and we just need to drag and drop it right into this little square right here. The mirror render texture that is. Boom, and if we take this mirror material and throw it on here, you can see it's kind of like a reflection. But there's a bit of a problem with this reflection. You see mirrors, don't reflect like this. This is on the opposite side. So it's not really acting like a mirror. And we actually can fix that. What we do is we come into here and we set this and give it the inverse on the Z. And you'll see, boom, since we inversed it, now it is reflecting properly like a mirror. Uh, there's other things that we can also go into fine details here. So if we zoom in, you'll notice that the reflection is a bit you know, jaggedy, it's low resolution. And depending on what 
the load in your game is, you know, do you need a strong reflective mirror? Uh, you can actually bump up the resolution if we come into the mirror render texture and just increase it by, you know, your standard amounts, 512 by 512. You'll see it, it gets a little sharper or if you need it even more crisp, we could do 1024 by 1024. And look at that. It's a really nice reflection now. And a few other things you can play with if you are having performance issues, so you can raise and lower that resolution, sure. Uh, but you can also play with the field of view here, or you can have different clipping planes. And so what this will do is, you know, instead of rendering everything from very far away, you can actually shorten how far it will render things. So if I said, you know, one, you see it's only, it's getting the beginning of the hats, but not the end of them. And then you could go further and further and further. Okay, and one last thing I want to do is make sure to make this a child of the mirror, just so when you're moving things around, you don't get any weird behaviors. See, like if I took this and move this, you know, it's just gonna reflect it because the camera's not moving. So it's always nice to make sure it's a, the camera is set to a child of the mirror so you can move it around in your scene. And with that, we have a working functioning VR mirror that our players can use to see themselves with. And this is again gonna help them if they have items that they can customize themselves with. And we still have a hand mirror to implement, but you know what, I'm gonna leave that as a challenge to you to do to see if you've learned what I've taught you here. And if you get stuck, uh, I do have an explanation in my blog post found in the description below. And well, besides that, we're all done. Appreciate you stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.